Hello everyone and welcome back to the Follerty channel. Today, we have some exciting updates on the world of royalty and philanthropy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Princess Charlene's triumphant return to South Africa, and a heartwarming event at the 2023 Invictus Games are all in the spotlight. Let's dive right into the stories. Our first story takes us to the heartwarming world of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as they attended the 2023 Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. The Invictus Games, created by Prince Harry himself, are a Paralympic-style competition for injured, sick and wounded service personnel and veterans. The royal couple, looking absolutely glamorous, made a stunning appearance at the event's final ceremony. Prince Harry, who served in the British Army for 10 years and completed two tours in Afghanistan, was dressed in a sharp black suit with a black dress shirt underneath. Meghan, on the other hand, radiated elegance in a green strapless dress adorned with delicate laser-cut flower details. During the ceremony, they couldn't contain their excitement as they cheered and clapped for the US team, with Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA providing the soundtrack to this patriotic moment. Prince Harry took the stage to deliver an emotional speech in both German and English, praising the competitors for inspiring people worldwide through their resilience and abilities. Throughout the week, the couple immersed themselves in the various sporting events from wheelchair basketball to swimming. Their enthusiasm was evident as they posed for selfies with competitors and spectators alike, and they even had the honor of presenting medals at several events. A particularly special moment was when Prince Harry celebrated his 39th birthday during a sitting volleyball game between Poland and Germany. The crowd serenaded him with a heartfelt rendition of happy birthday. But the Invictus Games hold a special place in the hearts of Meghan and Harry. They made their first public appearance as a couple at the 2017 event in Toronto. And since then, Meghan has continued to support her husband's initiative, joining him in Sydney in 2018 and The Hague in 2022. Despite stepping back from their royal roles in 2020, the Invictus Games remain a cherished project for Prince Harry. Now let's shift our focus to Princess Charlene's triumphant return to her homeland, South Africa. The Monaco Princess, known for her commitment to water safety, returned for a series of charity events organized by her own foundation. This visit marked a significant moment in Princess Charlene's life as she overcame life-threatening health issues that forced her to stay in South Africa for six months in 2021. Despite these challenges, her dedication to her philanthropic efforts remained unwavering. One of the highlights of her visit was her participation in a Learn to Swim clinic for over a hundred local school children, organized by the Princess Charlene Foundation South Africa in partnership with Life Saving South Africa. As a former Olympic swimmer, Princess Charlene's involvement in promoting water safety is both inspiring and impactful. On top of that, Princess Charlene hosted the fifth edition of her Princess's Water Bike Challenge. This time, the event featured local athletes and celebrities expanding beyond its Mediterranean roots. While Prince Albert was originally scheduled to join her, a scheduling conflict prevented their joint visit and Charlene embarked on the journey solo. Her return visit to South Africa holds immense significance, not only for her philanthropic work, but also as a personal triumph over adversity. In May 2021, while observing her foundation's wildlife efforts, she faced critical health issues that required multiple surgeries and extensive recoveries. In her recent statements, Princess Charlene expressed her happiness and serenity, hinting at her plans to get back into swimming training. She also shared her experiences from past water bike challenges, emphasizing the complexity of cycling on a lake 
compared to the Mediterranean. That wraps up our coverage of these remarkable royal and philanthropic stories. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's continued support for the Invictus Games and Princess Charlene's triumphant return to South Africa demonstrate the enduring power of dedication and passion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Follity for more captivating updates from around the world. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.